Hi guys, welcome back to another VCV rack tutorial. I'm the Cliff Actor and today I want to talk about um, controlled randomness. The idea behind this patch is from Martin Luders, a developer who made, for instance, this module and two more modules that we will use later on. So, yeah, let's go and dive in. If you hear this annoying sound, this is the fan of my MacBook Air that's getting crazy because of using VCV Rack, okay? Here we go. Now, to start, we have this patch here. Um, this is a simple oh, um, LFOS clock, sample and hold. If you don't know what is a sample and hold, there's another tutorial outside there explaining what it is. A quantizer, um, VCO, um, ADSR to make it a little bit structured. And now we got here this random sequence. Now, if you want exactly this, so skip the video, go to drink a beer like I do right now. Cheers. In the real world, there are a lot of modules that um, allow you to control the voltage of the randomness or the randomness. And um, in VCV Rack, we don't have something similar, so we have to find the workaround, okay? The first thing that is really annoying is that um, the range of the um, frequencies is very very high if you want to have a melody it's normally in a small range not um, over all the scale okay and this is something easy to do we use a attenuator on here and now we have control over the range okay see there's the full range And with the offset, you can go deeper, higher, okay? Easy stuff. Now it is still very random. And if you want to control randomness, um, what you want, okay, what we get here, is not, maybe this, it is not what you want, but um, this is what we will get, is something that you get sequences that they are um, repeating and changing at the same time. And the idea behind this patch from Martin Luders, here are my credits, um, is to use a two, not one, two sequential, sequential switches. I will let, let me load them here. So it's one to eight and eight to one. Okay, what uh, these switches do is they get a signal here on uh, the eight to one on the input and let, let me step this only to show you. Okay, and here we have a step input. So it's up or down, whatever. And always when, when this here appears a step it will take the or store the input for a while. So there are two modes here. This is really important. Uh, if you do a right click, um, default is zero mode. That means that um, the input is only given to this output when this is active. Okay, and if you go to the last mode so it is stored like in a sample and hold so the input will stay here or the last value of the input will stay here until um, it is activated or stepped again this is very important if, if you do this what we will do now in zero mode it won't work at all now the idea behind this is to store here eight or seven or whatever you want 
voltages on a random time not 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 on the, the same time we uh, trigger the ADSR or the VCO okay that's the point now let's do this let's don't talk too much I give this an input and now we, we connect um, the outputs of this sequential switch to this one this one has eight inputs that that are given out to this output okay now if you connect all these together like one to one two to two three to three 28 to 28 there's no 28 but it doesn't matter um, there will be no effect okay <laughs> we, we will um, put in here a voltage and give it out here okay the the point is to to change the um, the time when when this is happening okay you'll see and all we need is a Bernoulli gate this one this is like a random gate where you control the randomness so let's see let's take put this gate here and now um, um, this one this steps not if on every step here okay so let, let, let me uh, finish this patch we need to step this all the time and this is only um, triggered ran like randomly okay and now the output here and uh, let's see what we got okay and now the nice thing is we, we can control how much randomness we want okay if I put this all here there so there's no update here okay so you will get always the same sequence you see you listen okay now when I give this a little bit you will see we got a close sequence but with little changes like here and now if you want more changes in the randomness you see and if you want it as before go full counterclockwise to zero and you have a completely random sequence okay that's the idea behind this um, Martin Luther's um, patch I love this because it's yeah it gives you tools to um, control the randomness and here with, with those uh, step um, inputs yeah you control this you, you may control this with an attenuator but uh, let me show you something no this is not this one I see now um, you, you can do the following thing um, if you put this to five so only uh, let's do four okay now only these four um, inputs get updated so here you will get always the same sequence okay now when we go crazy you will see here is always the same so uh, with those you you can even control something like a how to explain if you if you if you set this to start your sequence um, you will get a starting melody with randomness at the end or if you use it like we do it now um, you have random and then always the same things or the same tones happening here okay okay 
I think that's it. I, I hope you understood this patch. Um, I did. I hope so. <laughs> and yeah, keep patching, keep having fun with VCV Rekt. This is really nice. Uh, you can do the same, of course, if you have the modules like this on the real system. I'm the Cliff Factor. Have fun. See you next time on the next with my next tutorial or I don't know. Hey, cheers, guys. See you.